Hey there, this is Lance Chance Guy, your spiritual fairy godmother, bringing you your reading for water signs for March 20th to March 27th, 2023. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading hypnosis, whatever I do. Please also visit um, EnchantedSky.com. You can book a reading, Land is Enchanted Sky book. It's the same thing. I, I have a loop created. So, um... Also, while I'm thinking about it, if you are interested, I am offering a special on, ment on mentoring and past life regression or hypnosis in general. So if you are you want to get rid of a bad habit or any of those things, hit me up. I'm Go on coffee.com and join my mentoring ship tier. And that tier will um, allow you to do, to work with me for a while. Um, it's a good deal because I know that there's people out there charging up a, a whole heck of a lot more money for, for uh, hypnosis. So um, just remember that, okay? And uh, just check me out. Blessings, okay? So let's see what we get. Um, I remember I'm a water sign too. I'm three of the four. People always wonder, well, why do these cards work? Because there's three out of the four things that I have. I'm not much air. I have a little bit of air in my chart, but not a whole lot. And so that is why. All right. Um, you're going to, this part of the week, you're going to be getting your wish. So something's going to happen and it's all about you balancing and being very, very careful with money. Now there is a man of power that could be maybe even giving you, giving you, um, some, push or some support in some way that will be helping you and it will go your way because it is something that you wanted now towards the middle of the week you've got standing your ground about something hold your play holding your place making plans on the internet so this could be that um this also could be just making plans in general but usually it's the internet a lot of times and the way you think things are going to go isn't how they're going to end up. End up. They're going to take a turn. Now, I'm going to pull one more card because I want to know what kind of turn that might be. So, it's telling you just be patient about something. So, the way that things are going to go will probably go in your favor. Just be patient and don't overdo anything. Because the card, the temp, this is the temp card of, of Sagittarius. And it, what it represents is don't overdo anything. Stay grounded and logical. And that's what you need to do. Now, at the end of the week, there's something that's hidden. And you're taking the bull by the horns about something. This could be a doctor. This could be something that, that um, you know, that's, it has to do with, with you transforming your life. And this is going to be transformative. And I'm going to see how it transforms you. It's, in, it's within the nine to five. So it's something that's very, very traditional. So it could be in religion. It could be in... Um, in a job, um, please check out at Crosswatch because most of the time, you know, you are not, you are not just one sign. So you might be air, water, and earth. All I know is that my, that the end of the week is very interesting for fire signs also, and it has to do with transformation, but this represents traditional religion, tra something traditional. Okay. So that's what's, uh, towards the end of the week, all right? And uh, here we're gonna pull some other cards. Oh, here you go, there's the deck. This is interesting right there. I'm gonna pull Moonology, that's the one I, I always like Moonology, it's one of my favorites. So. The end of a tough cycle is approaching. So it's things that might seem like they're gonna get better. You're going to have to release some negative energy. There's negative energy coming. And you are good enough. You are good enough. You get what you deserve. You, you, if you're being blessed, don't doubt it. Balance spirituality and practicality. That's important. Okay? So, blessings to you. Make it a great week. And how can you make the planet a better place? Blessings.